Hello everyone and welcome to a Nintendo special video game pickups. We're going to take a look at a bunch of Nintendo Switch games I have recently picked up and I am loving the physical media for this system in an age where other consoles are pushing the consumer towards digital. We're going to take a look at some modern classics and hidden gems. This is going to be awesome so let's check this out. First up we have Blaster Master Zero Trilogy for the Switch. This is a collection of all three Blaster Master Zero games on one cartridge, and it also includes exclusive Japanese voice acting for all three games, and also includes all DLC for the first two games, which allows you to play as EX characters from other games such as Shantae, which is very cool. Each of these action adventure games are brilliant in their own right, with excellent gameplay and continuing story which progresses throughout the games as you move on. It's an amazing revival of the NES classic Blaster Master, and they play much like the original, but thankfully, unlike the original NES game, these games have a save feature, which is such a great addition, allowing you to pick up and play whenever you want. In these side-scrolling game worlds, you pilot Sophia Free, or a variation of that, which is an upgradable armoured transport for your character. But you are also required to leave your vehicle and take the battle on foot, shifting to a top-down perspective to acquire power-ups and defeat bosses. It's an epic anthology of mutant blasting action in the Blaster Master Zero trilogy on the Switch. And next up we have the Capcom Belt Action Collection on the Switch. This is a collection of beat-em-up games, and is also known as a Capcom Beat-em-up Bundle. This cartridge contains seven beat-em-up arcade games, including Final Fight, The King of Dragons, Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, Warriors of Fate, Armored Warriors, and Battle Circuit. You have the option of playing either the English or Japanese version of each game, and there's also an artwork gallery included as well, which features concept art, character art, and packaging. You also have the option to play these games multiplayer, and you can even make use of online multiplayer support if you have that. And this release is the first home console release of Armored Warriors and Battle Circuit. This is a great value collection of 7 arcade quality titles or physically on one cartridge, some of which were never previously available physically for home consoles. That's the Capcom Belt Action Collection on the Switch. And next up we have Cotton Reboot on the Switch. This is a cute em up game and is a remake of Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams and also a version of the original game is included on this cartridge as well for added value. Cotton Reboot is a scrolling shooter where you take on the role of a witch by the name of Cotton, who agrees to aid a fairy by the name of Silk in defeating monsters in exchange for Willow Candy. To do this, Cotton can blast down enemies from her flying broomstick and collect power-ups along the way to increase her firepower. The game also includes boss monsters as you go, and the difficulty amps up as you progress through the game in search of a sweet reward. That's Cotton Reboot on the Switch. And next up we have the Cotton Saturn Tribute Collection on the Switch. This is a collection of shoot 'em up games. It includes Cotton 2, Cotton Boomerang, and Guardian Force. Cotton 2 follows on from the first game and introduces Cotton's rival, Apley. A magic blue water willow has disappeared and now it's up to Cotton and Apley to find it, battling many monsters on their way to retrieve the magic blue water willow before it's too late. Cotton Boomerang is a remixed version of Cotton 2 which features new characters, new visuals and alterations to the stages as well. And in Guardian Force, you must locate and annihilate an evil invading force, battling enemies, including bosses, collecting power-ups as you go to enhance a deadly range of weapons poised to fire from your fingertips. That's the Cotton Guardian Force Saturn Tribute Collection on the Switch. And next up we have 
Double Dragon Neon for the Switch. This is a beat em up game. Legendary martial artists Billy and Jimmy Lee return in this creative reimagining of the classic beat em up, Double Dragon Neon. Fight your way through countless henchmen on your way to rescue the love of your life, Marion. Trained in a special form of martial arts, hunt down and defeat the evil Skullmageddon. This game lets you upgrade and mix and match unique abilities and powerful new attacks. You can string together attacks for brutal combos to keep your foes down and out. As you brawl through a variety of levels, including dangerous city streets, twisted science labs, an evil stronghold, outer space, and more. And this game also includes a rockin' original soundtrack. It's brotacular in Double Dragon Neon on the Switch. And next up we have... River City Girls for the Switch. This is a beat-em-up game. There's trouble once again on the mean streets of River City. But this time, the boys are in over their heads. In this all-new entry in the legendary beat-em-up series, hot-blooded heroes Kuni and Riki have been captured, leaving it to their hard-hitting girlfriends, Kyoto and Misako, to serve up some payback. As you punch and kick your way around town, either solo or with a friend in local co-op, you'll gain new skills, chow down on power-ups, wield an assortment of weapons, and unleash an arsenal of combos, throws, and special attacks that will leave the bad guys crying. It's an old school rumble for a new generation, so kick butt, take names, and pound punks in River City Girls on the Switch. And next up we have... Sayonara Wild Hearts for the Switch. This is an action game. Become the fool and journey through an arcade dream as you break hearts on your motorcycle at 200 miles an hour. Speed through dance battles and chase scores in laser shootouts and sword fights. This is such a unique game experience with a compelling and enthralling story. The game has beautiful visuals and style and the gameplay changes throughout with you avoiding obstacles, dispatching enemies, and beating bosses as you go. And the game is accompanied with a fantastic soundtrack which complements and enhances rhythmic gameplay. So let's pop! It's a pop album video game in Sayonara Wild Hearts on the Switch. And next up we have... Sign Mora EX for the Switch. This is a shoot 'em up game. Sign Mora is a side scrolling shoot 'em up that provides a unique challenge where time is the ultimate factor. Mixing classic shooter sensibilities with contemporary presentation, Sign Mora is a gorgeous shoot 'em up offering both a story mode that weaves an over the top tale and an arcade mode that provides deep, satisfying gameplay to challenge fans of the genre. That's Sign Mora EX on the Switch. And next up we have... Streets of Rage 4 Anniversary Edition on the Switch. This is a beat-em-up game, and this anniversary version of the game also includes the DLC Mr. X's Nightmare on the cartridge. This game features multiplayer with up to four players on screen at once and has a roster of 20 playable characters including 12 in pixel art. The game has beautifully hand-drawn animated graphics with classic gameplay enhanced with brand new mechanics. There are also 12 unique stages and new game modes to this version as well. It's the comeback of the legendary Streets of Rage series, with Streets of Rage Anniversary Edition on the Switch. And finally we have Wonder Boy Asher in Monster World on the Switch. This is an action adventure game, and the Switch version exclusively includes the original Monster World 4 game physically on the cartridge. This is a remake of an iconic classic by the original Wonder Boy team. Explore magical, exciting places, 
meet colourful characters with old and new friends, and experience an epic and miraculous adventure now in cartoon animation quality that awaits you. And this release also celebrates the series' 35th anniversary. The legendary series is back with Wonder Boy, Asher in Monster World on the Switch. And there you have it, those are all of my Switch pickups for this episode of Video Game Pickups. If you like the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me from Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.